This is JBigTicket23 from GreenPCGamers.com. In this video, we're going to show you how to install a Xeon 6 core X5690 processor into an HP Z400 workstation, uh, specifically the system board with four memory slots. Um, because we found online there's a bunch of documentation that claims that the four memory slot board is the V1 board that will not support um, or is limited to support six core Xeon processors. Um, so we decided to test it out. Uh, see if we can get it to work um, and so that's what we're going to show you as you watch this video um, but before we get to the actual install um, we are going to post a link in the description of this video to our HP Z400 blog page now this page will be awesome for you because we show you a bunch of awesome uh, processor, processor upgrade ideas uh, memory upgrade ideas graphics cards up, upgrade ideas um, as well as other uh, aftermarket upgrades that we've done um, to the HP Z400 workstation. So check out this page. It'll be very, very helpful to you um, if you have an HP Z400 workstation. All right, so before, before you upgrade your processor, regardless of what speed that you plan to install, you want to update the BIOS with your existing processor installed. Um, and the BIOS update that we are going to use that's compatible with the X5690 processor is version uh, 3.61 Rev A. All right, so if you have a four slot Z400 system board, you're going to want to install that BIOS uh, version first with your existing processor before you plan to upgrade your processor. Um, if you don't do this, you probably won't get video because you won't have the microcode update to actually um, allow the system system to boot up. All right, so make sure you do that first. Um, and we're gonna actually show you how to do that um, right now. All right, so the first thing you wanna do is go to hp.com and then click on the support tab on the top of the page. Then you're gonna click on software and drivers. All right, so that's going to open up a page. You're going to click on desktop, and then you're going to search for Z400. It's going to autofill HP Z400 workstation. Go ahead and click on that. And then it's going to bring you to this HP Z400 support page. Now, we have Windows installed, so we're going to select Windows, and specifically 764-bit. Now, you can pick whatever operating system that you might have. All right, so go ahead and click Change. Um, it's going to load a bunch of drivers that are available as well as uh, possible firmware updates. Uh, we specifically want to update the BIOS on our system um, so we get that microcode update. Um, sorry. So now that this is loaded, um, go down to HP Z400 Windows Workstation System BIOS and you can take a look at the fixes. It actually shows you that there's a pretty important microcode update um, that's available. Um, and this update might be the one that cause the X5690s to work in the four slot system. So we're going to download that, uh, save it to downloads. We're going to rename it so we know what it's called. HP Z400 BIOS update. All right, so we'll go ahead and run that. And now it's, it's kind of goofy the way the HP BIOS work because it's actually going to bring up another web GUI and let us select what kind of operating system that we have. So go ahead and click next on this. And when you click next on this, it will bring up that web GUI. Now we have, uh, we're gonna do, we're gonna do this through Windows. So we're gonna click on Windows BIOS flashing launch HPQ flash. And we're gonna run it. And now we're gonna install it. Okay, we're not gonna show you the actual install part because that's it will cause you to reboot your system. All right, so here's a uh, look at our HP Z400 workstation that we are upgrading. Um, as you can see, we do have the four slot, uh, four memory slot system board. And then we do have the high performance heat sink installed already. So here's the motherboard part number that we're upgrading. Uh, spare number 46143801, assembly number 46083902. Um, and these are, um, like I said, the four slot memory system board. Um, so it's not supposed to support the X5690 proc. All right, here's a closer look at the four slots. Now, if you have a six slot system board, this upgrade should be no problem for you. You just need the high performance heat sink. Um, still ideally update your BIOS before you install it. All right, so we're going to put the system on its side. We're going to show you how to remove the side panel. Very easy to do. And then we are going to remove our high-performance heatsink. First, we're going to unplug the fan. And then there's 
four T15 screws that we're going to uh, loosen cross diagonally. Sorry for the shaking. Uh, we had our tripod a little bit too close to the system. All right, so we have one more screw. We're going to remove that heat sink, and then we can remove our existing processor. All right, so we're doing this by hand. Uh, we don't recommend using power drills because um, you could possibly snap off those screws, and then you'd have to buy a new heat sink. All right, so there's one retention clip, and then we can go ahead and gently remove this existing processor. Now, be very careful because if you don't want to drop that or touch those pins because if you do, you're going to be buying a new system board. All right, so before we put our new processor in, we're going to, we're going to clean off our high-performance heat sink of any existing heat paste. Uh, we're going to use toilet paper, which works really, really well. But if you have one of those alcohol pads, those are awesome too. So just get it nice and clean so that when we, when we apply new heat paste, um, it works out really, really well without any old, old dry heat paste on there. So here's our processor, ZNX5690, subcode SLBVX. This is a six-core CPU. Uh, we had the part number listed on greenpcgamers.com. Check that out in the description of this video. All right, so we're going to gently put that processor into the slot, put the retention clip back on, and lock it into place. All right, now we need to apply some heat paste. Just drop like kind of like a pen cap right in the middle of the processor because when we put the heat sink back on and it heats up, it's going to spread evenly across that processor. All right, so now we're going to put our heat sink back on. It's got a nice stamp on the motherboard that says CPU fan side, so you can't really screw it up. Uh, plug your fan back in to the connection on the board, and then go ahead and cross diagonally uh, screw in those T15 uh, screws. All right, so we're, again, we do this by hand so that we don't snap off those screws. All right, so we got one more screw. Now, you don't want to over-tighten these, so just once you feel them stop, they've, they've grabbed, and once they stop, just you know stop turning them. All right, we're going to put our side panel back on. All right, now, so we're ready to go ahead and boot into the F10 setup to verify that the processor is working. So in post, we booted into the F10 setup. We're going to go ahead and enter in system information. You can see our X5690 processor. It's working perfectly. It's showing up. We had no errors in post. And as you can see, we have four DIMM slots. Um, so this is the four-slot system board. If this was the six-slot system board, it would show two empty slots in the end with DIMM five and six. So uh, it just proves that it does work with a four-slot system board. Now we're going to boot into Windows 7. Uh, we're going to go to System Properties and just uh, verify that it's working. So we see the processor is showing up. And then we're going to go into the Windows Experience, see what it ranks it. Uh, it gives us a 7.7 .7 out of 7.9. It's pretty good. Now we'll go to the Device Manager and take a look and make sure that the processor is showing up in the Device Manager as well. So there they are, uh, six cores, X5690. So um, this is proof that you can install a six core CPU, specifically the highest end CPU that they support for this, which is the X5690 processor into the Z400 workstation. All right, so hopefully this video was helpful to you. If it was, please consider subscribing to the channel. Um, if you have any questions, definitely comment below. Uh, we do monthly giveaways on our greenpcgamers.com Facebook page. Um, you can find that on greenpcgamers.com. Um, all you have to do is like us on Facebook to qualify for those giveaways. Uh, thank you so much for watching.